hi everyone welcome back to my channel my name is patricia and i'm back again with another video and in this video i'll be resizing this oversized wrap dress to fit my body you know i really need to get my life together i forgot to take a video of the before dress as i was just too busy taking pictures luckily i was able to get a picture of how it looked before and if you want to see how i got it to fit my body like this then keep watching what I like especially about this dress is first of all the color and then the wrap style. I just love wrap dresses but up until now I didn't own one. Isn't that ironic? Yeah, get your life together Patricia. Now let's get to the video. As usual I'll be using my scissors, seam ripper, pins, matching thread and my fab dress. Fun part, I got this dress for $10.49 people. $10.49? $10.49. Oh my goodness. Yes. Now let's start this dress. First, I wear the dress and I get to pin it wherever I can possibly pin. This dress is way too big and the fact that it is a wrap dress doesn't help at all. It was a struggle, but I managed to pull it off. I pin the sides at the waist and then at the front dart. I move the position of the dart to align with my bust point and I pin that. Next, I pin the back that all this pinning is just to give me a rough idea of how much I need to take in and where to position my dart. You will see later in the video that I ended up using my measurements, especially for the back. So after pinning the dress, I take it off and i go ahead to mark all the pin areas with my chalk marker as you see me doing here and i do this on the inside of the dress i pin the mark points together on the wrong side of the dress try it on to check the fit and here it is you can tell i am already liking this dress with the pins just holding it up Next, I make sure those lines or the marks are very visible and then I mark to cut the excess fabric using my waist as my anchor point. So from my waist, I draw a line to meet the hem of the sleeve and from the waist to meet the hem of the dress. After doing this, I pinned and cut the excess fabric making sure I left my seam allowance. I knew I would need to cut more excess fabric, but I wanted to be careful not to cut too much, especially at the hip. On the other side of my seam, I took out the belt before proceeding to cut the excess fabric off. I ended up with the front of the dress separated from the back of the dress. And as you can see, I start unpicking the top part from the lower part of the back. After separating the upper back from the lower back, I folded the lower back in half and from the center back, I mark out my dart using my measurements. The pinned marks gave me an idea of how much to take in. After measuring my dart, I snip the legs of my dart to transfer the dart to the other side and also mark the point of the dart. I join the points together to form my dart legs. Now using a threaded needle, I transfer my dart to the other half of the fabric. As you may already know, we have to do the same thing to the other side and this is a technique I use. Comment below if you do this as well and if you don't, you are welcome. I turn the fabric to the other side and just connect to the point to the snip legs. I just like placing darts and so I find this technique so useful. Next, I match the snip legs of the dart, pinned together and I went ahead to stitch. For the upper back, there wasn't a dart created but something similar to a dart was done but only the legs were joined without connecting to a dart point. So that sort of creates a pleat which gives shape other ways. I pinned and I stitched that together. Before stitching though, I went ahead to place both the bottom and the upper pieces facing each other to make sure everything looks good. And to me, everything looks so good. 
When I was satisfied, I went ahead to pin together with right sides facing each other and I stitched together. With the back pieces stitched together as one piece, I used the back of the dress as my anchor point for the front. I measured the waist using my tape measure by folding my tape measure two times to get a quarter of my waist. Placing it on my waist, I mark my waist measurement. I went ahead to mark my hip by repeating the same process, but first I located my hip on the dress by coming down about 12 inches from the waist. Next, I joined the points from my waist to the hip and then from the waist to the armhole. Next, I cut the excess off leaving 5'8 for seam allowance and I leave the excess fabric to use later on as a guide for cutting the front part in the video, as you will see. Next, I basically do everything I did for the back for the front by first detaching the pieces for each side, repositioning, oh my god, that is a mouthful repositioning the dot at the waist or the shape given place at this point i don't know what that is called help me <laughs> so when the front pieces were ready i went ahead to place them together right side facing and i pinned to make sure the fabric doesn't move so as i mentioned earlier i left the excess cut from the back and place it on the front side of the dress to serve as my guide to cut I mark cutting lines on my fabric to indicate where to cut and I cut the excess off. Next, I pinned the dress together. I tried it on to know how well it was coming along. And let me tell you, I like the dress. Okay? I like it. Just look at the dress. It's only pinned. It's just pinned though. It's only pinned and it is coming along. I love it. it uh, I think I like saying I love it too much. Um, please comment below if you agree with me. Making sure I've searched all my rough edges. At the hem of the sleeve and at the hem of the dress, I am picking a little bit of the hem before pinning and stitching together. I like to do this to get that same finish the dress came with. Now with the front and the back sides pinned together, I can go ahead and stitch. And as you can see, I am excited to stitch. I also make sure I position the belt on the other side before sewing. I always make sure I serge all rough edges before stitching seams that cross each other. Feel free to use a zigzag stitch if that's what is available to you. Please excuse the black thread as I did not have enough red thread to stitch with. The dress is almost completed now. I pin and stitch the hem of the sleeve and the hem of the dress. I also removed the fasteners the dress came with and I was done. Later on though, I realized that um, I needed a fastener, so I ended up using a safety pin. Feel free to do whatever you want to do. No judgment. Judgment free zone. Do you, do you boo. Do you. Mm -hmm. Our dress is now complete. Just look at the way it looked when I had just pinned this dress. And now just look at this fabulous. Tell me this is not fabulous. I am loving this dress. Let me tell you the compliments I got when I wore this. You can just imagine. Please like this video if you would like to see more of such transformations. My goal is to teach people to see the many possibilities out there, not only in terms of clothes, but in so many other areas. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time with another video. Have a beautiful day. Bye.